Hello, welcome back to the free show. Bumpy Mix Squiggums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I continue with Warhammer 40k and Death Watch. We're on episode 29, guys. We're getting close to the very, very bitter end of the game. That's right, we're getting ever closer. We did manage to lose our first Space Marine last time. Now, when we I say lose, we lost him in battle, but he's back. He did, however, lose all of his previous experience and what he actually gained on that particular mission. Now, when I say previous experience, I don't mean what level he is or what have you. It was good old Jofiel, the mainstay there, but he had some leftover experience from before that he hadn't used. That all went away, so that is the price for failure, apparently. So we're going to hop in and get started here. Cleanse and Purge. Having reached the base, barely, and sealed the perimeter, the kill team encountered large and deadly Tyranid creatures. So I guess the biggest problem with that last mission was I went too far too fast because it said I needed to and it really you probably didn't need to. So that's kind of the biggest issue. Anyhow, let's continue. Alright, everybody is pretty much set, so let's just hop in and play. Your space marines can't have more than 8 AP at any one time. So remember that, folks. 8 AP is your max. Your mission is not over. Our scans detect many large enemies within. Purge the compound of the alien taint. Alright, murder all the aliens, shoot them in the taint. Got it. All over it. Let's do it. Oh, well look at this. We have another tooltip at like the 6th to the last mission or 7th to the last mission. There are Tyranid Guard in this base. The guards are tough when shot from the front and mitigate a large amount of the damage. Try and flank them and shoot them in the back. Okay, good to know. Don't shoot guards in the front. Well, it is a small map and I assume, well I, I thought it was a small map, maybe it's not. I assume that there are a finite number of enemies inside, so let's hope that we can handle our business fairly well. I think uh, Jovial Number Awesome's got this guy on lockdown. Oh, but he had a friend. Well, and our friend, the friend is a shooter as well. What are you? You're a Tyranid warrior. Well, we're going to hope that moving here is going to be the play, and... Jovial is back in action and ready to make uh, amends for his failures in the past. Alright, I'm going to move here. Probably going to try overwatching in like this kind of a direction. I'm a little hesitant to do so, but I think it might be okay. Additionally, I'm going to move down here. I'm not sure why specifically. Honestly, I don't have a reason. But in case somebody decides to swoop around to the side there, I'd like to actually be able to do something. And I'm going to do the same thing with Zafan, move him over to deal with any aggression that comes from over here. Over here... we're just scrolling down now. Alright. Let's get the camera back into position here. Oh, that's right, I can move with clicking and dragging. Alright. That's cool. Alright, I think we're ready. Let's make it happen. Will you fall back? Will you come forward? Looks like the falling back is going to be the play. I'm okay with that. That's actually good. Alright. I'm going to move up with Jovial to see what's around this corner. Apparently not much. Going to overwatch this way. I'm going to move Jovial number awesome a little bit closer. Have him also overwatch this way. I'm going to have Martelliaison come on over as well. You guessed it. Overwatch in that way. And I'm going to send Jofield down here, or sorry, um, Tulamore down here. Let's see if we can't get a bead on the enemy. It does not look like we can. That's if we move just slightly closer. Still nothing. And I'm going to move way down here with good old Zafan. Now this might be a horrible, horrible, awful mistake. I can't guarantee that I'm making any kind of good choices right now. But we're going to try to play it out the slow play style. Oh, who's shooting at what? Oh! Oh! Apparently we didn't clear the corner. Surprise, surprise. And they are once again trying to find a good position here. And they like all have guns, which is weird and not normal. Ow. Well, I think we'll be okay. As much as I was hoping that Zafan would be able to 
flush out the enemy. That does not seem like that is going to actually happen. So I'm going to move here, which is going to be a little bit odd. And we will see a gene stealer from pretty far away. We'll see. I think we can handle this. All right. I should be able to annihilate this guy. Bye, Termagant. Goodbye. Step a bit closer and get rid of you from a distance. There we go. Not so bad. We'll get you to move up and maybe overwatch. One step closer. I know, it's still a risky play, but eh. We'll move here, overwatch as well. Alright, and what are you? You are a hive guard. We already know about those guys, don't we? Or is there something else? I thought we've already dealt with those guys several times now. I'm not sure why they decided to pop up with the little tooltip there, but they certainly did. I wasn't really expecting them to shoot at me this time either. Oh, look! You just walked into your own death, more than likely. Alright. Ooh. Oh, wait, wait. Is it, what is this guy? This guy have guard too? He looks a little bit different than the other one. Not a lot different. A little bit. Alright, I want to go take a peek at him. What? Are, you're a tyrant. You're a, a tyrant guard. I'm sorry. And you're a hive guard. Oh, because the tyrant guards are probably even more of a pain in the rear end. Alright, I'm going to shoot you once in the backside. I'm going to have, hopefully, a Tulamore finish your face off. Oh yeah, he totally did. Excellent. We're going to come over here and we're going to trade blows with you. Mono a mano. Bug to medic, I guess. Or well, worked out for the, the medic, I guess. That's kind of a thing. Alright, we're going to move there. I'm going to move you here. And I suppose I'll move here and overwatch in this direction. Might be okay. Kind of get you to overwatch over here. Well, let's see if that's going to be enough. I realize that they take reduced damage, but by how much? I mean, we can still hurt them, I would think. And that should be enough to not quite annihilate you. And unfortunately, it's also not enough to really trigger anything. He does seem pretty clompy. You hear him clomp and he's like, clomp, 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 clomp. Oh, good. I murdered... I think I murdered the guy that was in the... No, I didn't kill him either. Well, Jofiol is actually in a really good spot. So, I'm pretty happy about that. I can literally pump up all of our crit chances right now. And I can shoot up to eight times in his backside. In fact, I think I may even move forward and continue this little assault here. But I didn't have to. I just murdered him, so that's fine. And you're officially dead. Goodbye, sir. And I can now move Martelliaison up to the front here and have him overwatch in that direction. Zafon can probably... I mean, who's really hurt? Just a little bit from... Uh, a little bit on this boy right here. That's that's totally fine with me. Let's use our actual skill to heal him. Save our med kit for when we might need it. Move out of the way. Get our sniper into position. And we know there's still a few guys over there. There's clearly some up there. I think we're doing pretty decent though. I gotta say, I'm I'm pretty happy with our current scenario. All right, come on down and get ready to die. We still know that there's a hive guard over here somewhere. He did not show himself. And if we land this, fantastic. If we don't, so be with it. We did land it, which is great. Let's go take a peek around the corner. Don't see anything just yet. I'm gonna do the same thing with you. Moving on over, nothing. Alright, I can move there and probably overwatch into... Ooh. Don't even have to overwatch. Excellent. I can just shoot you in the backside. And you could be all like, Ow, my bum! Because, yeah, we kind of shot you in the bum. I know. Horrible, horrible awfulness. Alright, what do we have over here? Do we have anybody within vision? No. Okay. 
Well, we'll come back down this way, I guess. And Zafon, you can come over here, buddy. Alright, theoretically we should be fine. We'll probably exchange a blast or two to the face, but yeah, again. In the grand scheme of things, I think we'll be fine. Are you going to move into a good position, a bad position, or what? Apparently you just decided to walk over here for some unknown reason. Definitely don't think that was the play, but eh, we'll find out soon enough. Our sniper does not have a shot on you, but in theory we'll take you down. Nope, we missed. That's a bit unfortunate. Eh, we'll burn you down now with Martinez on in his super powerful superpower of super power dude. I guess. Should be able to burn you a little bit. Not too bad. Do another one of those. Gonna move Martelliaison over here. Sorry, no, that was Martelliaison we just used. We'll use Zephon over here. Smack him upside the noggin. Do it one more time. Come on, do it again. Do it again. Make him suffer. Come on, you can do one more than that. I believe in you. There it is. Triple punch to him. A little donkey punch upside the noggin. I will cut you once. Twice. Three times. I think we can get a third chop on him. That's all we needed. Alright, so the third chop, and that was that. And down he goes. And that means that good old Jofiel is back on murder duty. And we will overwatch in this general direction. And that should be good. Let's end the turn, see what the enemy decides to do with their, well, multiple losses that they just suffered. They still have several enemies that they're throwing our way, but... I don't know. I'm liking our chances right now. Especially considering how bad things went before, I think we're in a much better position now. I'd probably be a pretty big fan of not getting murdered. Eh, we can take another shot. Eh, not enough to take him out. It's cool. It's cool. I think I'm going to move our sniper out of the way, and I think Jofiel is going to just shoot everything within his range. Oh no! Oh gosh! How is Martelliaison in his range? Oh, that was so scary. That was not good at all. Okay, I should have probably moved forward before I did that. Hindsight being what it is. Awkward. Jeez. Remind me never to come up with clever crafted uh, plans ever again. That was really bad. But it's okay. We will hopefully recover from this. Should move over here with Jofliel number awesome. And I think I can even lob a grenade. No. Well, you know what? I could, actually. If I move here, I can lob a grenade. Just hope that there's nothing else coming to murder me. And catch! Boom. That did not kill him like I thought it might. All right, we'll move uh, Tullamore up a little bit further, and that's where we're going to break off our wonderful turn here. Whew! Martelliazon's like, okay, don't mess with Jofiel. He may have died in the last mission, but or went down in the last mission, but he's not to be trifled with. You really don't want to be on his bad side. No wonder the Tyranid's focus fired him down so much last time. It was 100% the play. I'm wondering if this is the last guy. I think it might be. If that's the case, well, good for us, I guess, or something. Alright, we will use our little baby med kit here. Drill fuel number awesome is going to come forward and see if he can't annihilate this guy. He has no more attacks, that's not good. Regular Joe Fuel is going to come over here and be like, I got your back, buddy. There it is. And is that the victory that we've been looking for, or is there a whole group? Ah, there's a group over there that we have to deal with as well. Okay. Well, that makes sense. Alright, well, we shall move here. And we shall move Zafon over here. And Zafon should actually have the heal to throw on our boy next turn around. And put uh, Martelliaison back on, uh, on track, because he done got wrecked quite heavily. Alright, hopefully this guy puts himself into a horrible, horrible, awful, awful position, and we will be able to do murderous things to him, maybe? Oh, Joe Field just done got shot, but at least it wasn't a super death shot. 
All right, Zafan, where are you, buddy? Let's go and throw a heal out on our boy. And it's almost like he never got owned, but you know he, he actually did get owned quite badly. But you know, you know, you get the idea. All right, cannot shoot him. So going to move over here. Now let's take a peek at Jofiel. Jofiel's got enough oomph to do some damage. And I think I'm going to utilize that to actually do some damage. And you know what? Jofiel says that he, he's feeling he's feeling like he needs to be bold. He needs to be bold, he needs to be beautiful, and he needs to do everything he can to bring this guy down. Unfortunately, it was still not enough. But don't you worry, we have other people on the task. And also up for the task, I would say. Zafan's like, I got this, guys. Don't even worry. And I'm thinking, Zafan, you're not even going to hit him. What are you doing, buddy? Not a good idea. But don't worry. Jofiel number awesome is coming into uh, range here, and he's going to be able to do some damage soon. And we're going to flank him with Martelier's on as well. Regular Jofiel is now just chillaxing. Oh. Yeah, you thought that was going to be enough. You can't land that more than once ever. Thank God. If he had, we'd be in a really bad situation right now. All right, Marte Liaison says, get wrecked, sir. Once. Um, going to move you closer. Going to have you pew pew. And I guess kill him. I wasn't really expecting that. But hey, we cleared it out, and victory is ours. No losses this time, guys. Such, such a better job than last time around. I'm a big fan of not losing horribly. All right, we're up to 11. Six out of the 20K that we're looking for. And, wow, Jofiel really pulled out all the stops and made up for his uh, last uh, shortcoming. So, good for him. Another card, the Oath of Vengeance. What is this? Plus one AP on every kill until the end of your turn. Well, that seems pretty epic. Alright, I'm totally all about that. We can do that. That's a thing we can do. Higher difficulties are unlocked when you complete the campaign. Well... All right, let's think about this here for a moment. Um, we don't have a pack yet. I don't know that we need to necessarily go into our inventory. Let's just go to our Space Marines. Uh, who would benefit the most from... I think Jovial probably would. What is he utilizing right now? The Litany of Hate? Is that what he's using? I think that's what he's using. Let's give him the Purity Seal. Equip that. And we'll give the other one... I think Tulamore maybe doesn't have enough. Uh, Jofiel number awesome already has grenades. Sorry, we just looked at Jofiel. Um, Martelaison does not have enough either. And Zafan's already got the med kit. Did we get a better med kit? I thought we did. I feel like we should be using like a level 4 medipack. Oh, we did. We got the level 2 and we never upgraded it. Alright, well that's my bad. I thought we did something like that, and by we, I mean me. Alright, we'll equip the better med kit. There we go. I felt like his heals were still pretty underwhelming overall, so... Wasn't entirely certain. Alright, well, we can get the other crit thing back later. I mean, we have two people that don't have, um... Sorry, I think it's Tulamore and Martelaison. I mean, we could always get rid of the... The grenades if we really wanted to. But I think we're fine. And I don't want to spend any more money. Or, well, I suppose it's not spending any more experience, not money. Alright, guys and gals, I think, uh, let's go back to Space Marines. Yeah, I th we're gonna upgrade his, his aiming a little bit more first, I think. So as much as I would like to spend the money to get the, or spend the experience to get the war gear, I think we're gonna skip that for now. And once he gets up to 30% accuracy, then we'll start dealing with other various things. All right, folks, that's going to do it for this episode. I will be back in just a bit with the next installment of Warhammer 40k Death Watch. Until then, my name is Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you for joining me on Focus Fridays here at The Freak Show, and I will see you later.